I'm gonna be honest with y'all, y'all need to make, make some noise for Lil John. He the one that really put this shit together. <laughs> I've known these motherfuckers over 20 years. They my friends and they my family. How many people in the music industry can say that I have more fun doing these two goddamn sold out shows than I've ever had in my entire motherfucking life with y'all? Right? All right, so what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Chef Junie's TV. I decided to do a little intro like this. We made it back from Vegas because we didn't really get to do an outro video for the Lovers and Friends vlog, and I didn't, I didn't get to tell you guys our thoughts and how we felt about the concert. I was kind of waiting for Amy, but I don't want to wait too long because I got to get this video out. I got a lot of videos to, to upload and stuff, so I kind of want to get this video over and done with so I can go ahead and upload it. Uh, from the very beginning, when it first came, I kind of thought it was fake. So I was real skeptical about it until the actual day of the concert. Cause I'm like, are these people gonna show up? Or are you not gonna show up? I heard that the Saturday date was kind of a shit show. I think it was like, it was a loud bang. So somebody thought it was shooting. So they had to shut it down for a couple hours. Some people got uh, trampled over and stuff, but we didn't experience that on the day we went. We went on Sunday. The first day was Saturday. It was the same concert both days. So we didn't miss out nothing by not going Saturday. But when we got there, uh, let me start from the top. Okay, it was hot as hell, right? We in Vegas. A lot of people was complaining about how hot it was. But you gotta understand, we in Vegas. It gets 100 degrees. You should have checked the weather before you went out there and prepared yourself to be out there in the heat. A lot of people was complaining that it was not enough shaded area or it was not enough water or it was not enough this or not enough that. You gotta prepare yourself for these type of events. They're not obligated to give you water. They're not obligated to give you a shaded area. They're not obligated to give you a place to sit down. If you can't take this type of environment, then they'll show up to these type of events because this is how all these events is. Coachella, Rolling Loud, all these events is like this. I mean, they did have buses. If you got too hot, you can go sit down on a bus that has air conditioning and stuff like that. But for me, over and all, and for Amy the same, we had a good time. My favorite performance was probably, probably T-Pain. I met T-Pain that day. T-Pain, don't let me down. You told me that you were my new best friend, that I should post that in my bio on Instagram. So if I post that in my bio and I tell everybody you my new best friend, don't let me down and tell these people I'm capping because you told me that personally. You said I'm your new best friend and I should post that in my bio. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully you see this video. Hopefully you don't leave me hanging. Hopefully you share this video and say, yes, I did say that you was my new best friend because I don't want to be out here. People think I'm capping and stuff because you know, I don't cap in my rap. But I think T-Pain was my favorite performer. Nelly and Shanti was amazing. Ja Rule, <laughs> not Nelly and Ashanti, but Nelly was amazing. Ja Rule and Ashanti was amazing. Usher was amazing. Amazing. Trey Songs was amazing. Lil Kim was amazing. Akon was amazing. It was just an amazing event. We really enjoyed ourselves, but you know, we was kind of old. So sticking around to the end was crucial. And we saw Lauren Hill too, but overall it was a nice show. But yeah, I'm gonna get to the clips and let you guys see some of these performances and I'll catch y'all later, all right? Peace. All right, we made it inside, lovers and friends. It's hot. Amy said she don't like it when I put my arm around her. Cause we it weighs me like down. That. But we up in here. I see you laughing with friends. Everybody over there trying to take pictures with that. But we we'll probably do that later. It's a line. We ain't waiting in line to take no pictures. We about to go hit up some of these stages, see what they got going on, go through this big ass flower interest they got right here. Because if nothing else, me and Amy are lovers and friends. Ah, you're so cheesy. <laughs> come on, come on. You know you're sexy too.
goons in the club case something jump for Back up for the hive, let the pump fall.
So we just made it back from Lovers and Friends. We are tired. It is literally 1 a.m. I'm about to heat up some food and uh, the leftovers we have from earlier and from yesterday. I'm about to heat that up, eat this food, hop in the shower, and call it a night. Uh, as you guys can see, it's literally 1 o'clock in the morning. Amy is hopping in the shower right now. I'm going to warm up this food and eat this food. But I think I'm going to end this video right here. This is gonna be the first day of Vegas, Lovers and Friends. I'm gonna have all the clips from the concert today. I'm gonna to put that all in this video. And then tomorrow is gonna to be a whole new vlog uh, because I think it's gonna to be too much stuff to put into one video. So tomorrow we're gonna to go out to eat and do a couple activities. So that's gonna be a whole nother vlog. So I'm gonna end this vlog right here. If you guys haven't already subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment down below, and I'll see y'all on the next one. All right, peace.